For 50 years, the National Chef of the Year competition has changed lives and crowned careers. The success of this competition is strengthened by the team who develop and evolve it as we continue to discover talent to add to the Winners' Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, the Young National Chef of the Year competition, launched in 2012, is fast becoming a sought-after Young Guns title. Our respected panel of judges aren't looking for personality or past successes. They're seeking pure culinary skill, and they're set on launching new success stories. In a fast-changing industry, the stakes have never been higher. So who will beat the rest in this extraordinary era for our industry? For me, National Chef of the Year is so important for the industry. It gives a great platform for people to challenge themselves amongst other great chefs. I think this competition gives the chefs the possibility to build themselves some confidence. I think it just allows the industry to showcase the up-and-coming talent in this country. You get to see some of the new ideas which come through, but also the different styles of cooking which come through the industry. Young National Chef of the Year is super important to the industry because they hold the key to the future. It's a celebration, it's a celebration of recognising young talent, just to nurture the future generation of chefs. You know, youngsters are the future for us, so we are the ones who will be passing our batons to them. I think it's super important that we know that we're in safe hands for the future. I remember going watching National Chef of the Year, you know, a competition that Gordon's done and won. Great names that have won this competition. It's such a big competition within the industry, it holds such prestige to win it. It just gives an insight into the level of chefs that we've got in this country. Whoever goes through the process will become a stronger chef. If you end up winning it, it will set you on the path to, to great things. When the result was announced, I knew it was a special day in my life. A triumph for me alone. And when you consider the number of hours I practiced, this was no mean feat. It means everything, you know. It was the beginning of everything. It opened a lot of doors and it built a lot of strong relationships and friendships that have lasted ever since. That night in 2016 will always stay with me. It propelled me forward and remind me to strive for something greater. The competition can propel your career. It made me so much more confident. It just helps develop your skills. Super proud. It's an amazing achievement. Massively helps with connections. There was no other way in my head just to sort of, you know, I need to win it. Really, I think because I built my, in my own head the pressure throughout the day, throughout probably the, the three weeks, you know, heading to that final, the first thing was like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's I've done it. The opportunity to be judged by amazing chefs was fantastic. Probably my proudest moment as a chef. Buzz of it, like I thought, like I'm actually part of the final ten. There may be a slim chance that could be me. Winning national chef means the world to me, and it's the best thing that I've done in my career. It was the best feeling, especially with Gary Jones and Raymond Blanc, that sat next to me, who had mentored me and trained me so well. 
you almost felt like I'd paid them back for it. You just picture things in your head and think, will they ever come true? And that was a dream that actually come true for me. Twenty twenty two is a very special year in National Chef of the Year calendar. Firstly, it's fifty years since this competition began, and fifty years is a fantastic milestone and a legacy. So this year's competition is going to be extra special. So every year we have a fantastic group of judges and this year it's headed by Kenny Atkinson. We want National Chef of the Year winner this year to stand above the rest in terms of technique, skill, ability and execution of great food on the plate. And the judges and the chair of judges job is to do just that for us. 50 years ago in 1972, National Chef of the Year was created by the Craft Guild of Chefs and a half century later, we're still there, getting stronger and stronger. And the secret actually is to move the competition with the times. So today, the competition reflects sustainability, our push towards plant-based dining and eating, and of course, a broader spectrum of ethnic and gender inclusion. To be asked to become chair of the National Chef of the Air competition is just such an honour. And you look at the past chairs that we've had, such as Phil Howard, Claire Smith, Gary Jones, Paul Ainsworth, these are guys that I look up to in my career. National Chef of the Air for me is very important to the industry. As a chef who's competing in this competition many times before with not huge success, but it gives you the platform to, to develop yourself as a chef, to cook in front of the best chefs in the country. And that for me was hugely important for me in, in my career. Let's meet this year's National Chef of the Year finalist, all hoping to join the illustrious Hall of Fame. Every contestant is a potential future star and deserves their place in this year's finale. The stakes are at boiling point and the competition fierce. Only one outstanding person can take the award and with it the chance to put their career firmly on the map with profile raising PR opportunities. Who will win in this extraordinary year? National Chef of the Year is super important to us. Every year it grows from strength to strength and the calibre of chef coming through is truly stunning. This being its 50th year is a real celebration of the chefs that are coming through our industry and how they progress and evolve through this amazing competition that we're proud to run. More than ever we need young chefs and young people coming into the industry. It's a great opportunity by shining a light and showcasing talent by including young people and those people starting out in their careers. This could be their very first step and their first step by being involved with each other competing to the highest standards is a great start and it's vital. It's vital that we celebrate chefs, we celebrate culinary skills and talent at the highest level. Young National Chef of the Year is massively important for the industry. What it can do and doors that it can open to encourage more people to come into this industry is amazing. Entering a competition is about developing skills and developing individuals. It's about controlling your nerves, really digging deep into the challenge and believing in yourself. When I was asked to be um, Young National Chef Chairman, I was, I was overjoyed. It's one of those pinnacle things of your career when someone thinks that, that that person would be a great mentor. I'm a big advocate of wanting to develop young people, the next rising stars of the, of the industry. The race is also on for our Young National Chef of the Year finalists, all chosen from a selection of professional industry competitions, ensuring that only the best make it to the final. This year, our finalists will have to work harder than ever before to wow the judges, chaired by Michelin star chef Lisa Goodwin-Allen, who will take the title this year and join an elite group of winners. The National Chef of the Year and Young National Chef of the Year are much more than chef competitions. They're the UK's most prestigious awards in hospitality. These events provide chefs with an exciting opportunity to put themselves in the spotlight and show their culinary talent to the wider hospitality industry. It's put industry names up in lights, boosted careers and given chefs 
the chance to follow their dreams. Only the best, most innovative and creative chefs get a shot at the title and an award that opens doors to the things only dreams are made of.